I'm Shannon from Two Creative Chicks. You may know me as the mommy of the Flock Stars Chicken Band and Joku, the patriotic piano playing chicken. I'm also the co-creator of the Flock Suit Chicken Diaper. Today I wanted to show you some special features of the Flock Suit, how to put it on, how to take it off, and to give you some tips on how to use it successfully. Okay, so let me show you some of the unique features of the Flock Suit. First, the flock suit is highly adjustable. You can create kind of a custom fit using our three points of adjustability. The side straps, the back strap, and the tail strap. So the fabric itself is really stretchy and lightweight, which ensures a comfortable fit that moves with your chicken. Because let's be honest, chickens, we know they never sit still. You'll also notice that I said side strap rather than shoulder straps. So. Diaper straps usually come up across the crop area, but the problem that we found with that was that there was either too much give and the diaper could come off, or that it could be constricting and uncomfortable when they'd eaten a meal. Um, so this is what we call our IVT connector, and we named that for one of our testers chickens who was a coachin and her mom could never find a diaper that would fit over a big fluffy chest. And you can see that the straps actually go down the sides of the chicken in front of the wing attachments to the bib, which holds them comfortably up against the body and allows the, it to actually move with the chicken. And the strength of the high quality Velcro that we've used on this back strap allows for a lot of room for adjustment. It can be as short as this where it's completely folded in half or just overlap an inch and it's still strong enough to hold it in place. Now the tail strap is also really unique in that we have the elasticized tail strap and that kind of helps to keep in some of the smell, keeps the poop, and it's also easier on their feathers. The fabric is really lightweight, it's stretchy, allows good movement, it's breathable, and it's very easy to clean. So speaking of easy to clean, the poop pouch is fully lined with a waterproof fabric, kind of like what they use on baby crib sheets. So it can just be wiped clean with a damp cloth or run under water in the sink to rinse it. And the entire diaper is even machine washable. We do recommend putting it in a lingerie bag and make sure all the Velcro um, is closed. Use it on the gentle cycle and air dry it. So now that you know what makes the Flux suit special, let's put it on. But before we go get our model, um, one thing I recommend to make cleanup really easy is filling the poop pouch about a third of the way up with just toilet paper. It absorbs the moisture. Now it's not absolutely necessary since it is fully lined, but I do really like being able to just dump the waste right out without having to actually stick my hand in there. Alright, so this is our handsome guy Blue and he's going to help us to demonstrate the flock suit, how to wear it and how to remove it. So there's two ways you could do it. You can either sit on the floor and have them facing you like this, kind of up close to you with your thighs and legs kind of keeping their wings down in place. Or if they're calm enough, I prefer to do it with them kind of sitting on your leg and uh, doing it from the side like this. All right, so you're gonna place the back strap over their head. The T-strap should be right at the base of the back of their neck here. You're gonna slide the side straps down right in front of the wing attachment on both sides. Take the poop pouch and Put it right between the legs and then come out the back side here. Take the straps and just gently enclose the tip. And you'll take the back strap, slide it under the tail strap. Grow back down should lay nice and flat across the back. Now the back strap does not actually need to go all the way to the top. So 
So you have some length adjustment here. You can just go ahead and attach it. It's very strong, so you can make it much longer. But for him, this is appropriate. And then you want to go ahead and loosen any feathers that are un trapped under there. Just make it more beautiful. And even the fluff back here so that it doesn't get pooped on. Yeah. All right, and then make sure you check for a proper fit. So a properly fitting diaper should have the top of the bib right below the crop, the part that sticks out here when they eat food. It should be nice and flush up against their, their stomach all the way back to the poop pouch. You do not want it to be loose. It's kind of hard to get it too tight. So make sure that it's uh, nice and snug. If it's too loose, they can get their toes up in here and get caught. So we do not want that. Okay. And then the back strap should lay nice and flat across the back here. The T strap should remain close up to the neck and in front of the wing attachments here. Go ahead and untuck the wings. And the tail itself should just be kind of held up slightly without it being jacked all the way up to the sky like sometimes you see. And so the second way to do it is fairly similar except for that you're going to go ahead and position them straight in front of you and you'll have them kind of gently held between your knees and your thighs so that he can see what's going on and you can kind of control the wings. All right. Then just tuck it right over her head. Good boy. Such a good boy. Straps right in front of the wing attachments. Both sides. Good job. Good job. Tuck the pouch right through the legs. around the tail. Back strap through. Laying it down so it's nice and flat across the back. Gently untugging the wings and fluffing. And what a handsome man you are. Yes. Can I have a hug? You're doing such a good job. Oh, yeah. And then to remove the diaper, I'm just going to do it again in the reverse order. Undo the back strap. Undo the poop pouch. Holding the straps together. Tucking it through the legs. And right over the head. And back off. Good job. Good job. So wearing a diaper for a chicken may not necessarily be intuitive. It can throw off their balance until they get used to it um, and learn how to adjust their positioning because of the little bit extra weight here. Sometimes they walk backwards, sometimes they stumble, sometimes they won't move at all. Um, they can be pretty dramatic. And just be patient, encourage them. But one tip that we found that works really well is to take their favorite snack and just make a line of food kind of going away from you and let them eat it. It kind of serves as both a positive reinforcement and a distraction and usually they'll just keep walking normally afterwards. Here you go. Oh, yum. Good boy, Blue. Good boy. All right, so hopefully that was very helpful for you. If you do have other questions, you can contact us through Avian Fashion's website but you will get the paper written instructions along with the diaper too. So I want to thank my good man Blue here for being such a wonderful, wonderful model. He's a good boy. All right, and I hope everybody enjoys them as much as we enjoyed making them.